Hey everybody, welcome back. Today is the start of our journey to the Twisted Strand, a new area. And uh, we are going to, as always, try our best to not run into stuff. That That's the goal. Is it possible? Ooh, hold on, I got some dredging over there. Okay, I like that, I like that. Let's get to it. What am I missing here? Oh yeah, Oceanic. Oceanic! We can't do. That's fine. For now. So we've turned in, like, I think, uh, three things to the collector. I still have some unknowns. Um, specifically that... That shrine altar thing that turned into a crab uh, lobster beast thing that attacked me and I don't know how to deal with that we used like our special new power that we got and yes it stopped it but that's it and what is this boat here Pull up alongside a boat at anchor. There are signs of life on board, but nobody appears to greet you. Call out. Small slot in the door snaps open. A pair of frantic eyes peer out at you. A courier. Who goes there? I'm a fisherman. What do you want? I was just checking to see if you're okay. Do I seem okay? No, I'm very much not okay. <laughs> that was me yesterday. I'm supposed to be delivering this package to Little Marrow, but I'm being stalked. A huge leviathan lurks in these deep waters. I've seen it. Hung in the waters, its gaping mouth just below the boat. Would have swallowed this vessel whole if I hadn't bolted for the shallows. I'm not going any further into this accursed island chain. I could do it. Mm. Well, that would work, I guess. Alright. Dock worker at Little Marrow. Lumpy brown package through the loophole or door hole. Dark fluid oozes from one corner. Thank you, stranger. This is bound for the dock worker at Little Marrow. I'm not sure what's inside, but listen. I know this sounds crazy. Sometimes I think I can hear the faintest of whispers coming from it. I'm not supposed to be transporting live goods, don't have the equipment for it, so just be careful with this thing, whatever it is. Why don't you take this too? Getting over it with mind and body. Okay, we got a book. I'll be on my way whenever the coast is clear. Safe travels. Okay, so I guess... I'm out of here. We're gonna go back. We'll take whatever we can get out of the sea. Looks like that's about it. Okay, so quick trip back to Little Marrow. Make sure we don't blow up the engine. They announced some uh, roadmap stuff. So they're releasing, they are releasing map pins, which is really nice. Uh, they did clarify, though, that they're not going to be, um, like, you won't be able to see the map pins on your compass. So you're going to have to open the map and kind of keep following things that way. I wish they would add compass support. Then they're doing, like, a, a photo mode, and then they're doing uh, boat color customization. And then they're doing DLC in, like, the fourth quarter. Yeah, take all these. And, uh, dock worker here. I've got this package for you. Mm. Delivery, eh? Well, it's a big one, let me see. Takes the large package, examines it gently with his hands. He lifts it to one ear and listens for a while. He seems satisfied. Much appreciated, friend. Now, if you excuse me, wish me luck. He turns and hurries off down the dock without another word to you or, or compensation. I was just gonna ask him all those other questions. But I guess we have to wait and see. Alright. Guess we rest until tomorrow.
And now, <laughs> part two of the adventure. Oh, hello. I'm excited to see a new island. I do feel like I may be, um, well, I'm definitely missing things. Oh, let's grab that. So that boat's now gone. This is, <laughs> this is probably the remains of the boat. What am I hearing right now? What am I hearing? What is that, dude? Is that the thing that the boat was, the, that other boat was talking about, perhaps? There is a sharp drop here. Oh, I'm getting the banish ready. Oh, cool. Dolphins. We can't do anything with dolphins, right? I think we've seen these before. Will they hurt my boat? I think maybe they're just chilling. Let's go straight to a dock. Okay, we got mangrove. That's a weird noise. Got mangrove stop. Yeah, okay, so everything is new. What do we got here? Sergeant fish? I'm not sure I've ever heard of that. Okay, what kind of weirdos live here? Rickety pontoon, traveling merchant. Uh, so she's the one that wants the rare fish. Or fish. Reasonably calm. Okay, so, okay. We have locations of these. We need to make a plan to go and get them, okay? This is Gale Cliffs. Let's find one that maybe is here. Deepest depths imaginable. You have to get some specialist gear to catch one of these. Gulper eels. Okay. Goliath tigerfish. Murky swampy waters using the shade of trees as cover. Primordial feel. And these are going to be like weird. Okay. Twister Strand, Devil's Spine. See, I feel like maybe this is where one of them are, but we definitely have to go back to the Gale Cliffs for, for one of those. That was that was very clear. The Oarfish, I think. Okay, uh, what can you tell me about Twisted Strand? Not much, to be honest. I've gone inside just the once. I sailed into that lagoon behind us, so I could go left, right, or straight ahead. Mm. Something about the place seemed off. Through the fog, it looked like the trees were moving. I can't explain it. I turned around and sailed right back out. Sometimes use this spot to rest up for a few days. The surprises are particularly striking. Or sunrises are particularly striking through the haze. Never do any regular business here, of course. Is there anything else you want to talk about? So the one with the trees, tigerfish, murky swampy waters using the shade of trees, that could be here. Okay. Take my fish. Uh, let's take a look here. So we don't have any new engine stuff. We do have new lights. 
That's cool. Uh, but I need to upgrade my lighting situation. I'll buy this research part. And I guess let's buy an explosive. And I have so much money, I'm going to buy this metal as well. I'll put that in storage. I'm going to buy this light. I need three slots. And then, looks like this is what we need for the lights. So I'm just short wood, which I can probably get right away. I think we also started going into what? Space? Let me take this, and we'll put this in the lights. And then I can do this immediately. Uh... Oh, interesting. It put it here, which means I can't even use this. Yeah, I need to, like, ex I probably need to get to this hull. Upgrade your vessel to a tier 4 hull and adds 15 new cargo spaces. Alright, well, that's my life. Okay, let's rest until morning here. Then let's just do a little exploring. Oh, there's some weird stuff in there for sure. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a full circle around. Sergeant Fish, okay. We're gonna do a full circle around. We're not gonna go inside, okay? That's the plan. We're gonna circle all of Twisted Strand and just see what we can find. Whoa, that's different. Tarpon. All right, cool. There's multiple inlets here. Which I'm pretty sure is not the correct usage of that word, but... Here I am. Same thing. There's something in there, but I'm gonna stay way to the outside and just do full loop. So that we can say we've done it. Little gray mullet. This is definitely a gray mullet. Oh, I got a special one though. Lucky us. <laughs> we are 100% going to be out here at nighttime. I got to check this. I can't investigate it from this side. Okay. Well, this will give us an opportunity to do some nighttime fishing. should maybe dredge that stuff, but... Okay, now what did that say? What did that give us? Plan for the future? Fifteen percent chance to not reduce fish stocks when catching a fish with a rod. Okay, cool. I can dock here. Campsite. Some old fish are suspended on a spit over a fire that was never lit. A pile of fabric is gathered at the base. Check the fabric. 
Nest of rags lies at the base of the tree. Somebody slept here. The rags are covered in bark chips. Their symbols carved into the tree trunk above this here. Three distinct sets of symbols. Look at the first set. It's a book symbol underneath a wave. And then an upwards arrow. A cloud hangs over it all. Book underneath a wave and a cloud. Second one. Five unfamiliar symbols mark the corners of a pentagram. The shape of a person is lying down in the center. Three distinct sets. Wonder if that could be representing those five things we're collecting for that guy. Third set. Book symbol sits above a wave. Downward arrow points from the book down through the wave. Okay. Investigate the fish. Rotten fish hang from the spit. The fire below had been prepared. Somebody must have left in a hurry. Okay, we'll rest here. Continue to stay to the full outsides here. Is that this? Yeah, that's that's a sergeant fish. I'll switch it for a fresh one. It's like there's a bunch of planes crashed here. Weird. Oh, I didn't even use my research parts. Why? gonna discard these this one will go stale but so I think there might be another dock around the corner here dog tags no not a dock a boat Whoops. Thank you. Oh my god. Alright. We have another one of those guys. This is new. A catfish. They're big. A nightwing catfish. That's cool. Hooked barbels seek out prey in the twisting mangroves. A once sluggish fish given haste upon crimson fins. Okay, now we are... We're out at, like, a little island. Let's get back. Uh, what are these? Look like eels. It's an eel. Um... I need a three. Oh, wait. I can do this. Ok, 
Okay, we're gonna get back to our dock. The only thing is, there's this section that we didn't see because we came out to see that smaller island chunk, so... I'm just gonna take a little look-see. Nothing too crazy. Catfish. Okay, that's cool. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What have I done? Why am I here? Oh, thank god I didn't get my engine. Okay, that was a pretty successful little exploratory adventure. Storage. I guess this is just rot. I don't even know. Hmm. Dog tags in storage. I'm kind of holding this in case we find something, which we probably will. Uh, Research-wise... Like, even if I build this one... Uh, I would replace both of these. Right now I'm at, like, 37 plus 15. That's 52. So, this would do this something similar, and then you're... I think this is so expensive because it just fills all the gaps, right? Hmm. So, what's cool about this is I can add Oceanic back. So I will. I will do that. Hmm. Oh. Sell that one. Install this one. Repair. And now we can catch quite literally everything. Which is nice. Uh, we'll sell this one. I can't sell these little crab pots. I gotta keep the trawl. I can't get rid of the sampling device. Okay. Yeah, okay, we're good. Now, we start to go inside. Oh, there might be different crabs here, too. I should just take a look. Oh, there are horseshoes. Giant mud crabs, okay. This is definitely a spot where we could find that rare fish. Oh, I got something on my in my cargo. Just infected this. Oh, dang. Mapping this interior is going to be very, very hard, I think. Mm. 
just try our best. Okay, if we've seen these. Oh my god. I'm panicked. Gars. Oh my god. Did you see that? Something came towards us. This is a trap of some kind. Huh. This place is like a whole vibe right now. A scary one. Whoa, what? It puts up little blockers? Okay, so this is guiding us. There's directions. Okay, here we go. Let's blow these up. Message in a bottle. Tattered receipt. Okay. Goldsmith and Son, November number 27, Little Merrill, December 22nd, 1926. This is before all of this. Received the sum of $50, zero cents in exchange for one silver necklace with emeralds on silver mounting. Received a further $3 for custom engraving on reverse of mounting. Uh, customer to return tomorrow, December 23rd, for collection. Engraving is as follows for J, my shining star. Oh, uh, am I not reading a new book? Nope, I'm not. Okay, so whatever that's pointing us towards is over there. I know you got a special one in here. What happens if I do this? Nothing. Oh. I wonder if that's timed. We're back to where the, this trap thing is. Maybe I maybe I chill. All right, so let's what the frick So I got daytime problems. Hello, okay, okay. This is what everything's pointing towards. 
Large man is watching you through the billowing smoke of a campfire, idly carving away at a wooden stake. He stands as you pull ashore. From that look on your face, it's even encountered the local wretches. Take a seat. Those must be the things coming up out of the water. You join him by the fire. I've been trying to rid them of this accursed jungle ever since we wrecked here. The boys called them mind suckers on account of them, well, affecting the mind. They might have see things, do things. I'd ask you for safe passage away from here, but not until I've avenged my squadron. What happened to them? A number of us went down in the fog, crashing into trees or ditching into the water. We've noticed all the planes, right? Those that survived rallied here under the boughs of this giant tree. But it offered us scant protection before help could arrive. Our numbers quickly dwindled, picked off by the fiends in the forest. I've met a few would-be rescuers over the years, but none would help me in my fight. Are you different? Yes, I am. I figured you'd be up for it. You have the look. Listen up. First, we need to find the lost pieces of my squadron's mortar. Then we'll use that to bombard the beast. Other planes went down to the north and east of where we are now. I'll mark the possible crash sites on your map. Okay. I can do that. How will you honor their squad mates? Hung a few dog tags up in the tree behind me. It seemed fitting enough. But I've only got tags from the ones I... You must understand. I never found all their bodies. If you happen to find any of their dog tags, I could add them to the tree with their brothers. I have a number of mechanical doodads that might find useful. Here, take this one. In good faith, I'll give you more for each tag you bring me. Oh, sick. Any shipwrecks? No, anything that meets its end here is quickly swallowed by the silt. Tell me about the mind suckers. Devilish creatures through and through. They'll stalk you along the waterways and emerge suddenly, screeching their terrible song. The first time it happened to me, I saw shadows of my squad mates reaching out to me in a feverish dream. When I finally snapped out of it, I was covered in bloodied scratches. They must have sent me running through the foliage. Since then, I've done my best to avoid the fiends. Their senses seem to be based on movement, so move carefully. Okay. Uh, we can pull these tags out of storage and give this to him. Mm. Thank you. Okay. Let's do that one. And then we'll go into here. Okay, so it sounds like he's marked some things for us. Looking for mortar pieces. Find the frame, find the barrel. Map is updated. Encyclopedia, updated. Okay, so we're gonna head out of here. We're going to go straight, basically. This looks like it. Boom. Okay, now for a change of pace, we're going to go like up through here and in investigate that little section. These little mushrooms are cool. Oh. Oh, hello. Hold on. Question, question, question. That's good. Feels like years since I've been warm. I do not expect him to write. I just need to know that he thinks of me from time to time. The next few lines have been smudged out. He must return. More angry smudging. I've written him another letter. This will be the last one. At some point, we should take the time to read through those in order just to see 
how that feels. Oh, damn. I thought I could maybe run over those. Can't suck my mind. Uh-uh. Now, can you bother me when we're fishing? We're gonna find out. I'm not scared. Okay, I'm a little, I'm a little scared. We're actually not at the outer part of the wall that I was talking about, but it's fine. I'm just gonna be brave. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pretend like I've been living here for years. I know this land and these seas. There's another trap. Okay, relaxed mind is done. 10% resilience to panic. Have we seen like a full like panic thing? Getting over it with mind and body. Oh boy, okay. So I'm gonna go out here and I'm gonna go around to the left. Whoa. Okay, now I'm a bit concerned. Not gonna not gonna lie. Oh, nice. We need these. Oh. Yeah, no, we need these. Sorry. Why do I think they look different for a sec? Yep, we'll take that. It's almost daytime. It's almost daytime. We're cool. We're cool. Sure. We'll look for a catfish. Oh, dude. We lost metal scraps? Okay, hold up. Now, I do need to cycle back and empty my boat, I think. What the hell? That is super sketch. Okay, mm. take all of that. We need to do some repairs mm. here. And we need bolts, and then we're gonna get cargo spaces. Okay. Then, and look for engine stuff. Storage. Okay, so wood is fine. What we really need is um, these big metal scraps, more bolts, and a bit more wood. A little bit, a little bit of everything, unfortunately.
Okay, so we're gonna cut through the island now. Hopefully. So inviting. Oh god. <laughs> okay. We're set there. Take it back to the guy. Hopefully build it. took a wrong turn. Got to be a special one in here somewhere. All of you get to survive unwanted. All right. I wouldn't say that, just don't have the space, you know. See, now I'm feeling pretty confident that we've seen most of the interior. But, like, I don't know where, how to find these rare fish, man. I wonder if the rare fish only come at, like, really specific times of day. I got the parts. That's the lot. Now, while I work on assembling the mortar, you can get started on the next phase of the plan. You may have noticed some contraptions in the lagoons. Yes, I've assembled those traps for the mine suckers. We need to lure them in there. Once they're in, you see, I can fire on them with our new mortar, and they'll, that'll be the end of them. No more nightmares. Mm. I'll mark the locations of the traps. Got it? Absolutely. How'd you make the traps? Mm. With patience. The creatures only seem to sense movement, so when everyone was close, I froze. Have you got everything? Yes. We need to make three special baits from different combinations of fish. Oh. Oh, rad. First one. Three fish from the area to make. Okay, that's fine. We know these. Don't have all the fish for that bait yet. Come back when you got the rest. What about the second one? Two fish from the area. Well, here you go. And... Last one, two fish, we need eels. Okay. Where do I put the bait? In one of the traps I've constructed in the lagoons, they're marked on your map. Nope, we're good. Um, it's interesting that we didn't see any dog tags in that little adventure. 
Now those eels, do they come out at night? Yeah, those are nights. But Gars and those other little dudes that we need, we can just get. Give him my trophy. Should have put those things in storage when I was docked. Okay, I've got some stuff for the bait. Take my gar there. Couple of gray mullets. Done. Load this into a trap, and we'll get clear from it. When the trap springs, I'll fire upon it with a mortar. Make sure you bring back proof that the thing is dead. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, second one. Mix these in. We've got number two now. And then let's get the bait for the last one. We have to wait till nighttime here. I suppose I could have just rested there, but nighttime's going to hit shortly. We can just do a little bit of a cruise. Get to know this new swamp that we live in. Let's load this trap. That's so cool. Okay, I need proof. Obliterated corpse of a mind sucker. Hello. The rest of the carcass sinks out of sight. Okay. So now we're looking for eels. I know we had some near the um, near the campsite. Is this the? Yeah, this is the campsite over there. like this. Yeah. We kind of lose out on these trophies by using them for this, but what are you going to do? We, I, I feel like we have more than enough money. It's a pretty crash-free day, guys. Feels good. Here's a corpse. Let me see it then. He handed the tattered lump of flesh to the airman. It's almost unrecognizable. You both know it couldn't have belonged to anything else. Pokes at it with his knife, testing the rubbery meat. He seems satisfied. Yes, this is one of the beasts. Progress at last. Progress at last. More to go, though. Uh, traps. Last one. Mm 
No, we're good. Okay, so he did mark them for us. Damn it! Right as, of course, like right after I said no crashes or fewer. Here it comes. That's so sick, man. Okay, one more. I know you can generally see the um, types of fish underneath, but... Sometimes it's nice for me to check. I wonder if you can see it coming from the... It sounds like it came from that direction, so that's cool. Okay, let's get back. in those needles. Okay, here's the corpses. A few slashes with the knife, it wobbles a little. Another one taken care of, one remains. Mm. Oh, you have more. Here we go. His eyes filled with sadistic delight. Bends down and plunges his knife into the soft flesh. Falls away before the blade, revealing a glint of metal. With a sickening tear, he rests it from where it was embedded in the flesh of the creature, he holds it aloft. You recognize it as a necklace glistening in gore. Well, fisherman, some fortunate last, this ought to fetch a decent price from the right collector. There we go! Why don't you take it? <laughs> All right. And now, well, that's that, I suppose. What are you going to do now? Can't say for sure. I thought he'd be asking you for an escort away from this place, but it's become somewhat of a home to me. It doesn't feel right to leave my brothers here. I think I'll stay a while longer. In the meantime, I can make up some special bait for you. It ought to help with your fishing. Oh, yeah, okay. This is leftover from the other bait we made. Can be used to attract all manner of nearby species? Huh. I'll need some fish from you first. Any type will do. But the more you give me, the more bait I can make. Hmm. Huh. They go crazy for the stuff. Day, night, it doesn't seem to matter. All sorts of fish usually show up. Maybe that's how I can get some of the special fish then. Okay. So, maybe before we hit nighttime here. Just to see what happens. Okay, so I throw it overboard, and then I fish. Does that just... It just makes... It just automatically makes a... Hmm. Oh, okay. 
It changes with every one. And we got two special ones there. That's cool. Let's just wait a little bit here till it's darker. I'm going to head back towards here because I'm going to grab our stuff if we're going to take off. some repairs here. Okay. Let's see what happens. Mixed results. Oh, we got twin deals. <laughs> Two-headed. That's so cool. Yeah, this is... We're definitely getting much higher quality fish here. Like, there's there's no doubt. Um, nothing rare yet. That doesn't mean that it wouldn't attract the rare fish. I wonder if, like, if I took him some of the special fish that we catch, if that would make any difference. We did give him uh, a trophy one before, but... Holy frick. That one's massive. Okay, we're going to repair all this stuff. Uh, we'll grab this stuff. And we're going to manifest. Okay, guys. Let's turn this in. We, cl we did that island very efficiently. Now... I don't know if there's, like, hidden altars and stuff. I don't know... Uh, actually, there was one thing that attacked us there, right? But we didn't know... Yeah, it was a boat that turned into, like, a thing. He recognizes the necklace. An excellent find. It demands pride of place in my collection. Swoops aside some scraps on a dusty table. Candle of wax pooling in its corners. He places the necklace carefully in the clearing. I suppose it would be demanding recompense as well. Once more he opens the book, dust pouring from the pages as he reads aloud. You begin to feel weak, but you've rooted to the spot, knees on the verge of buckling. Instantly harvest an entire shoal of fish. Huh. Strange feeling of power grows in your chest. We're so close. One more remains. I loathe to suggest it, but the abyssal plane on the approach to Devil's Spine is likely a candidate. See what you can find. I'll mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? The problem with that bait guy is he's so far away. So you go out there, you try to get a bunch of bait, and it's like, if yes, it's getting us trophy fish, but if it's just going to get me more money, currently it's not something I need. So... <sighs> Atrophy. Instantly calls the closest col shoal of fish, readying them for swift reaping. Can be heard from a great distance, so you need not be close to your victims. But the population is unlikely to recover from such vile trauma. Use it sparingly. Okay. Well, that's exciting. Are you human? Your inquiry is met with a piercing gaze. Why, of course, as human as you are. Interesting. How do you know where these relics are? I largely don't, but I read the seas. Or I read the seas. I see the swells that give shape to the formless. I hear the waves that whisper secrets to their witnesses. And I speak to the currents that hold a memory of all that they claim. Anything else? Nope. Okay. Well, uh... 
I guess we're gonna wait till morning. And then we're going to the Devil's Playpen. Devil's Spine up here. And we'll see what happens. Oh, I left one there. Damn. Oh, was that my good one? <laughs> of course it was. Of course it was. I'll just throw these back in storage. Okay, guys, wish me luck. I'm sure there's things I might need to double back for, and, and like, I, I still don't know how to find those rare fish. I don't know how important those are. Um, but it would be cool to find them. Just the fact that, like, I haven't seen them is kind of surprising with the amount of fishing we've done. So maybe it's bait, maybe it's something else. We don't know, but we'll see. Thank you, guys. Bye for now.